What's up guys, Zaf here back with some more on Muji and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I plan to trade my SJs for the next uh, month well hopefully last month so I just dropped um, 100 bucks and we got this 1200 SJs and we also got this from the event um, if you get past 450 SJs uh, in recharges you get three mystery amulets. You get a base Daruma, uh, three base Darumas. So we're going to collect that. Now, we're going to look at the best way to trade SJs, right? What's the best value for SJs? Because this game, it's pretty weird. The currency is in. Let me just pull this up. So here's the thing you spend money, you buy SJs. So they, they also have a disclaimer right there, you know. Um, spend your money wisely or something like that. I mean, it's blocked by chat right now. But they have SJs and they also have Jades. So you can't buy Jades directly. You have to buy SJs first and then you either convert them to Jades. But the conversion value is, is pretty shitty because um, if you look here, you spend 100 bucks. You know, and I'm sure there's miners watching. So if there's miners... Please go and ask your parents permission first before you before you make a purchase, alright? Okay, I mean if you're an adult then fine, fuck it man, that's your own cash, you know, however you wanna spend, go ahead. So yeah, 100 bucks gets you 1200 SJs, and you can trade that, 1200 you get 2400 jades. So that trade ratio is 1 is to 2, 1 SJ gets 2 jades, but that's not really the best value now, is it? Right? In other games, it's more straightforward. You just buy one currency here. You have two different currencies. Really weird. So yeah, let's have a look and see what we can spend those SJs on. Um, amulet value pack. Okay, this this is quite value for money, right? Because this is limited. Although it's limited one per person, right? It's a limited lifetime one per person. You get fifty thousand coins and you get eight mystery amulets. Before we do that, let's have a look at how much do you get for mystery amulets, right? So there was eight. Well, an amulet pack using jade, you get eleven for a thousand. Pretty expensive considering that you're going to spend one hundred USD to get two thousand four to get one thousand two hundred S jades, which converts to two thousand four hundred jades, and one thousand of that is eleven amulets. That's about what. 40 almost 50 bucks for 11 so yeah so this pack you get 8 and 50,000 coins for 50 s jade so you got 1002 you minus 50 you sell 1150 so what's the value of that i don't know let's let's just assume that it's um one dollar is 12 s jade right one dollar is 12 s jade so this is like four bucks 20 cents pretty much value for money i mean four bucks 20 cents you get eight as opposed to spending almost 50 bucks for 11 so i'm gonna get this so we're gonna get that all right what else do we get mm, you get an exp the rumor no hold on that's not the one this they have another one a limited one purchase so midnight blossom this one you get 100 jade for seven days that's 700 jade Again, for four dollars something, seven hundred jade for four dollars something. That's pretty good value, right? Considering that it's a hundred, you know, one is twelve. One one USD gets you um, twelve S jades. Twelve S jades get you. So one USD gets you twenty four jades, right? Twenty four jades. Here's seven hundred jades at the price of four. So four times maybe it's actually you're supposed to only get about eighty. 92 you're supposed to only get 92 jades but here you can get 700 jades so this is good value as well i'm gonna buy it all right we've got the skin we share what else is there hmm. 30 day promo pack you get 200 jades up front for 30 days you get 30 jades so that's 900 plus 200 that's 1100 1100 at the rate of so it's 1 to 12 
Um, times one is twelve. So Twenty, about seventeen. Seventeen USD for nine hundred. That's not bad, but there's an even better way. All right, there's an even better way of doing this. I'm show you guys how. How we do it is by trading your SJs. So, I, what we do is you get to your friend page, you go to friends, and then you see I I've started a trade, but my friend only has twelve SJs, so he's only trading me two. So we're gonna collect and see what we get. Got a great Daruma. Uh, because the rewards that you can get is you can get like a skill Daruma. You can get AR amulets. You can get even more jades and sushi. I'm gonna explain to you. All right, so we got two great, uh, two great Darumas. So what is it? It's this thing right here, friend gift bag. Daily quota. You can buy five of these gift bags to give to your friend. Right, what happens is you receive 30 jade. So six is 50 cents, 50 cents, 50 cents for six. So one dollar is 12, right? So 50 cents is five, two dollars, 50 cents that you can spend a day to get 30 jade a day. And then your friend gets this gift bag. If you find someone else to trade it with, then you can get this gift bag, like, like how I just received earlier and I got those two great Darumas. It's possible rewards, you can get skilled Darumas, you can get EXP Daruma, AR Amulets, Jade, AP Coins, you know, it's anything is random. So I'm, I'm going to buy this Jade, spend 6 SJ to buy friend gift bag. So supposedly you're buying a gift bag for your friend and then you get 30 Jade in return. Alright, see, you got 30 Jade. So that's one. Do it again. Two. Three. Alright, so now... Now, what happens is we unlock this buddy pack. Alright, it's a Shikigami co-op. I'm gonna show you guys. First share gets 20 jade. Okay, whatever it is to get jades, I don't mind. Right. So we buy him another gift pack. And another gift pack. So uh, I can buy five. It's 150 jade a day. At the, at the rate of only $2.50. Okay. So at the rate of two dollars and fifty cents, we got a hundred and fifty jade earlier. Dude, that's like really good. <laughs> it's like really good. It's, it's it's but the thing is, you're capped at two fifty a day. You know, like two fifty a day at you're you're capped at only purchasing five of those packs, right? So the best way is you find someone else who can trade it trade it with you. Okay, so you send five, you receive five, and then um, you can get like a lot of different stuff. Now, that co-op bond, right? So now you have a buddy Shikigami. Okay, so what happens is, let's say Zodiac. Now I can use his tune, his uh, Ubumi here, right, his G6 Ubumi. I can use it 15 times in normal zone, I can use it in Krakens, I can use it in Realm Raids, I can use it in Nenzone. I have no idea what Nenzone is, I haven't found it yet. And uh, once you assist someone, you know, uh, after a total of how many times you assist, you know, you get uh, this daily prizes. The first 10 assists, you get 10,000 coins, 20, you get 10,000 coins and, and a great Daruma and so on and so forth. So if you assist people like 50 times a day, that means they use your your Shiki for 50 times. Like someone can use your Shiki, like I can use, I can use Zodiac Shiki like in the normal zone 15 times, Kraken 3 times, Realm Rate 3 times, so that's 21 times. Right, so one person, 21, you get three people and they use your shiki the whole day. Like they keep using your shiki and you can get all these daily prizes. So it's good to have all these bonds, you know, because these are ways to get more jades within the game without you actually doing anything and, and they're helping you. Like like if you bring, let's say now I don't have my Ubumi. So let's say I want to run Soul 10 or I want to run um, any any anything that I want to run. Let's say I want to run Kraken, I can bring him. You know, so I can bring my Utengu, I can bring him. Then after that, I ask someone else to come in and they just bring Zashiki and whatever it is and we can just solo the Kraken. Or any Realm Raids. Even in Realm Raids, like, using three of them, it's not bad. So yeah, so that's Bonds. Mm, let me see, let me see whether there's anything. Uh, 
So the next step is unavailable. I'm not sure whether it's open yet. So first one is buddy pack. The more you do with this, he becomes companion. So I'm not sure whether it's <clears throat> available or unavailable. But you get 10% coins and more EXPs when you're in a team. And um, I pretty much, I go with him like every day. So what we do is we go into chapter... Okay, but I, I'm diverse. <laughs> you know, I'm... I'm digressing from whatever it is that I wanted to say. So basically, usually I go to chapter 16. I press team. This, this to me is the most efficient way. Then I hit on Zodiac. Usually I bring Zodiac. And the person who invites, I say I invite. If I invite, I bring my Seimei. And I bring two for this. And I put two for this as spectator. Zodiac will then bring his one farmer, two for this, and two for this as spectator. So basically, both of us run this. It's going to cost me three AP and him three AP for each EXP up stage that we go in but we're going to get all these bonuses you know uh, there's a 20% EXP bonus from here from teaming up then there's also an extra bonus from the 50% uh, that we have a day all right which is here okay better EXP bonus in this 50% 50, 50 more and if I do have the 100% that's an extra 100% more and then now that we have already established a buddy pack um, the co-op right where now that we have established the co-op we do actually get more exp there's more bonuses here where is it see, i'm not sure where it is here bond there you get another extra 10 percent coins and exp and i think once you hit companion it becomes 20 percent so you get additional like 20 percent there 20 percent from team up that's 40 percent plus the 50 percent from here plus another 100 percent that's 190 percent exp from the original stage itself so that's a lot of exp you know 190 percent plus now you got your guild realm uh the guild buff so it's 200 percent exp so 200 percent exp is a lot of exp but yeah I'm, i digressed we were talking about packs to buy with your sj let's have a look someone because i still need to shop something else i was looking for other things um so they don't sell they don't sell souls they don't sell they, they sell like weird stuff like great daruma but this is really expensive assuming it's 12 like like again 12 no that's we don't have to assume it's 12 we bought 100 bucks we got 1200 so you divide by the four it's 25 bucks 25 bucks for this one g4 great daruma three g3 great darumas i mean if you're a whale or a kraken, go ahead, you know, by all means, go ahead. Myself, I'm not planning to spend that much. My plan is to spend that... My plan is exactly to spend those those gift bags that I've sent to, to Zodiac earlier, right? To, those gift bags, this this the, my plan. Like, six, 5 times 6 is 30 SJ. So, 1,200 should last me 40, 40 days, but um, I did the 100, I think, earlier. Was it 100? Yeah. Yeah, I did 100 because we bought some packs. We bought 100, 100 um, worth of the packs. You know, the Moonlight Blossom pack and the Amulet Value pack. So that's 1,100. So that's like three days less. Cool, still 36, 37 days. That's not bad. Um, and how much will I get for 36, 37 days? I get 150 a day times by 35 days that's 4,500 um, plus 750 is 5,200 jade over a period obviously over a period of 30 over days you know it's 5,200 over jade uh, over a period of 30 days so I think that's really really good value and especially if I can find people that I can trade it with and I can get more gifts myself myself then i can get like jade i can get um i no not not just jade i, I can get like skill the rumors i can get like sushis and stuff so it's really good value. that's the best value for spending but if you're wheeling out i mean like if money is not an issue for you just buy everything you know i mean if, if money is not an issue for you just buy everything i'm pretty sure what most people do is they buy the jade they buy the sj it's after that go to jade and they just trade it straight up but if they trade it straight up, like 100 bucks only yields you 2,400. You know, assuming I didn't buy the packs earlier and I was just doing SJ trades for the whole 40 days, 
right? I would have gotten 6,000, 6,000 jades, you know, from, from the 100 bucks. So if I get 6,000 jades from 100 bucks, that's like 1 is to 5 ratio. A lot more than 1 is to 2. But yeah, so that's how I plan to spend my SJ8. Um, do I want to look and see whether I want to buy anything else? Yeah, yeah, let's just have a look one more time, one more time. We go through it one by one. I might get this. EXP Daruma times 2 moon and... Because um, it's 110. 110 is like... Almost 10 bucks? I think, let's just put it as 10 bucks. So it's like 10 bucks for 100 EXP... One hour. Oh, fuck that, man. One hour. I thought it was a whole day. What the fuck? No, that's not worth it, man. Like 10 bucks for three hours of 100% EXP. Is it worth it? I don't know. I'll, I'll sleep on it. You know, I, I don't think this is really worth it. Like, because it's only like three hours total. Like, you, And you have to wait for like three days to get to get, collect all this for 10 bucks. What else do I get here? Great Darumas. 1G4. That's also 10 bucks. Nah. Coin boost back. Nope. Nah, you know what? I'm not gonna buy the rest. Like, they don't look appealing at all. What about this? 15 day promo pack. You get 100 jades straight off the bat. For 15 days, you get 25. So 10 is 250. Uh, 125 375 475 jade for the price of almost 10 bucks uh this is not bad it's 10 10 basically it's like four um it's almost this like 10 bucks gets you 4.75 ratio this is not bad this is not bad to be honest this is not bad to be honest but do I want to do it? It's almost the same as, as whatever we did earlier, so it's all right. You know, I'll just I'll just do the gift back trading, and yeah. If you found this video, you know, helpful in any way for you to plan out how you want to spend this game, because this is actually how I will be planning on spending. Because I I found that I don't have enough jades to buy APs, right? And I only pay like four hours a day four or five hours a day and uh, i'm running out of ap like really really quick all i do is i, I did the explore mode just to bring up my utengu up and then now i have to do explore mode again you know to bring momo up to bring uh kamaitachi up and to bring ibaraki up so yeah i'll be needing a lot of uh, ap so I, i'll be needing it when i need a lot of ap that means i need a lot of jade a lot of jade means I gotta buy it, you know, the F2P way, not the, the relatively F2P way wasn't doing it for me. Yeah, so, what are we gonna do? No, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's check the event. I think there was something, uh, no, this is not it. Event. Arise, Lord of Kyoto, there's this recharge. So the first three bucks I spent, I got this 10 mystery amulets. Then, um... They're, they're pretty smart, you know, they put it at 450, then they put it at 2004. So 2004 means you have to spend 200 bucks. So, but it ends in like March 4th. So I'd still have time, like in another month, you know, like another four weeks, I would probably spend another 100 bucks and get this 2004 pack, which would grant me seven mystery amulets, great Daruma, XP Daruma. Okay, it's not bad. I mean, considering that. You want to get like mystery amulets is um, fifty bucks for eleven, right? So you get seven. Like I only have to spend hundred, but I get seven. And I'm not spending. I'm not. One thing I'm, though, I have to admit, I'm not spending on summoning because I got pretty lucky and I got a few SSRs already. And uh, at the same time, I'm like, I already can't handle my SSRs like like the rate that I want to bring them up to to grade six. How am I going to do it if I have more SSRs to handle? But we're going to do some summons. Uh, we've, so we've got exactly 11. 3 from the event. 7 from there. I don't know where 1 came from. Alright, let's do this summon. Um, 
So I'll be at 94 out of 100. See, I don't do many summons. The summons I got was all from whatever we got from quests. Whatever I got from drops and everything. But now I don't get any more. You know, the, the login bonus and everything. Okay, I'm going to do one draw. But I'm sure you guys what this month's draw is. So basically, you see this circle at the top right here? We're going to pull down from there. Right, then we're going to go past this orb right down there. Down here. Did I not activate the circle? No, I did not activate the circle. Okay, you have triggered. You have triggered a mystery amulet circle. The mystery circle will reset at the beginning of each month, and you get an extra one. So cool. Got another one. Uh, now this time I'll just do my normal pattern, which is a Z. I watched my video back then. How I got Tengu is pretty much how I did it. Cool so All right. I'm not really enthused about summoning because. I know. I want to say my luck is not that good, but then again, I do have three SSRs from the amount of summons that I've done. What else do we have now? Okay, let's kill up. I wish they gave me like, um, I've gotten a 4, okay, you know what? I haven't done the pentagram in a long time, let's do the pentagram. Okay, uh, my drawing sucks, especially when using a mouse trying to do this. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to say that I got a four star R that day, the other day, from one of the mystery amulets. Which is weird. I didn't know that you could summon great four ones, you know. Or Samurai Axe, cool. Kamikui scallops, alright. I'll be using Kamikui in the future. Like, I've been facing a lot of teams that. Fucking hell, they like. They could lock me down, you know. Okay, last one. Alright, uh, there we go. Alright, nothing. So I need five more summons, and then I'll have my next SSR. Cool. I don't mind. Okay then. So now that it's all done, oh, we got something collection here. Area collection. What do we get? Claimable. Okay, more for the cool. Actually, let's let's go and see whether we can get five for something. <laughs> We're like getting some amulet packs. Can we get it? Seven for three fifty. No, that's fucking expensive. Oh fuck that, man. <laughs> I mean, I'll just, I'll just slowly, I'll just slowly um, wait till I get something from a quest or something, you know. And but once I kill the Kirin, because the thing is, I'm not, I haven't been making up. Well, yeah, I just need to feed it to him. I get another one, so I need one five. I need five. Win a hundred duels, so I've only one seventy three. Uh, defeat the great for win carrying so I, I need to wake up earlier because the thing is this game is in EST and usually I play games that's like in PDT you know Pacific time Pacific timing works better for me the, the Kirin starts at 8 a.m. EST uh, no sorry not 8 a.m. it starts at what um, when does it start at Kirin starts at 7 p.m. EST 7 p.m. EST is 
Is that correct? 7 p.m. is my 8 a.m.? Yeah, 7 p.m. is my 8 a.m. Something like that, you know? It's either my, my 8 a.m. or my, my 7 a.m. I think it's, it's it's 11 hours difference. So the 7 7 p.m. EST is my no sorry 13 hours because I'm ahead. Yeah. So it's like I have to fucking wake up at like 8 a.m. just to do this, and I, I've I've been waking up like 8:15. I wake up 8:15. I go in and they kill like they they kill like we killed the 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 great five here in today, and I'm like cool. I've never even touched it like. <laughs> But yeah guys, if you found this video helpful, do like, comment and subscribe. This is Zaf signing out then. I'm sorry for digressing and going everywhere. Till next time guys.